Hi, I'm Nancy Fuller. Come on in my farmhouse kitchen and let's take a look around. When you walk in my kitchen, you don't see a refrigerator. And you don't see a refrigerator because I have under-counter drawers, eggplant, all varieties of peppers, and how many of you have seen scape? Scapes, which I bet you don't know, are the greens that grow out of the ground at the end of a bulb of garlic. Let me show you my favorite space. This is the back of my beehive oven. The front of my beehive oven is where you cook your pies and your cakes, anything that you would use an oven for. And then I use all like antique things, antique breadboards, berry baskets, burl bowls, little wooden bowls. All these are the things that I use to serve my friends when they come for dinner or my husband or myself. And then let me show you my china cupboard. Again, old cupboard, and china, and glassware, and everything we use every day. It's just a typical lived-in farmhouse. Everyone has this universal junk drawer. Don't judge me, everyone has one. But my favorite things are these canisters. They're all hand-blown, and the tin lids are manufactured, but they're still probably, you know, from the early 1800s. My favorite utensil in the kitchen is what I call a garlic masher. Now it isn't really a garlic masher. It didn't start out as a garlic masher. It started out as take a piece of chicken breast, put it between two pieces of saran wrap. You want it to cook evenly and you can crush almonds. And you can crush candy for your desserts. And I bet you never thought you could use a gavel for a kitchen utensil. Check this out. Look at those little beaters. They mix those little egg whites up to big volume blossoms every time. These are called almond after dinner bars. And they're in my Farmhouse Rules cookbook. And they're an ode to my husband who really loves the flavor of almonds. And they're just so easy. Let me show you how quickly these almond bars can happen. Sugar, butter, two eggs, almond extract, a little salt, flour, and baking powder. Just pulse this. Just until the dough comes together. Just look at how genius this is. This little doohickey goes around and removes the cake from sticking to the bottom of the pan. Here is our dough. And now we're just going to press this in with our hands. Now I'm taking one tablespoon of local apple jack adding it to my homemade apple butter. And then we're just going to put this on top and we're going to bake this for 35 minutes. Now look at this. How fast was that 35 minutes? And here's your slice. I can't wait for you to try it. Thank you so much for visiting my kitchen today. I can't wait to see you again. Come back anytime.